Muammar Gaddafi's capital and stronghold, Tripoli, is a city under siege, from within and from without. Opposition fighters are advancing from the west. NATO warplanes strike almost daily. The city is running low on fuel, and food prices are skyrocketing. Um Yusuf recently arrived in Misrata from Tripoli. She asked us not to use her real name to protect relatives still in the capital. She paints a picture of a city gripped by fear, where Gaddafi's security forces act swiftly and brutally against even the hint of dissent. We just wait for that knock on the door. Well, it's not really a knock on the door. They, you know, they shoot the doors open and come in about three, half past three at night to pick up whoever they want. And the word's going around that if they don't find the men they want, they will take whoever else is in the house. And if they don't find any boys, they will take even the women. Um Yusuf was born in Britain and has lived in Libya for more than 20 years. She and her family back the revolt against Gaddafi, but she concedes he remains popular in some quarters. I mean, he does have support. And what's surprising, he has, actually has support from the poorer people that he hasn't done anything for, that are living, you know, like on 20, uh, 200 dinars a month, if they get that. It's, it's very strange. pro Qaddafi demonstrations are a regular feature on state television, but appearances can be deceiving. They put the pressure on the people and they go out in the streets and they stop the traffic on the highways. They, they, so that's when you come along um, in your car, you can't get through, and they show on the television like, you know, oh, he's, that's all his supporters, because they're clever with their, you know, the media, obviously. Despite the crackdown, others are trying to voice their defiance. The young boys, they go out at night, they, they write things, they even paint on the, on the roads the flag, their freedom flag, and uh, some are even fighting. As pressure mounts on the Libyan leader, there's concern in Tripoli he won't go quietly. Everybody's talking about a bloodbath. I mean, if he goes down now, he feels like he's really surrounded. He will use whatever he's got, and he will, if he's going to go down, he'll take, he'll take everybody with him, because he doesn't care. That's his, he's, that's his mentality. The mentality of a leader who has clung to power for nearly 42 years. The end could be messy indeed. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Misrata, Libya.